Uh, right. Yeah. That's, that's right. Sense. Mine and Baron's turn to argue now because we're going to agree or disagree with some statements, Baron. Why well, is right. it just me and you? Because I'm hosting. Because I thought it was Arsenal versus Man City. It's Arsenal right, versus okay. Man City as well, so I didn't just want two Arsenal fans Doing disagreeing well, yeah, yeah, on that. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm so. with you. Yeah. So sure. before we get into it, I do, not, I do not agree or disagree with these statements. I just thought these are talking points. So I'm going to say them and I'm going to let you two argue. Okay. Some okay. of them might, you might agree. So. Okay. First one. Riyad Mahrez right now is a better player than Bukayo Saka. Uh, what are you basing that on? After the, night, after the 90 minutes that. of yesterday's football. Oh no, it was in. That's a statement we've got to agree or disagree. Of time. Nah, Take I, 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 I strongly disagree with that. Yeah, okay. I've, I've, to be you fair, I disagree. disagree with that as well. Yeah, yeah, Saka's. Okay. Exactly. I mean, you don't even make the Man City team most most weeks. Yeah, he's yeah, saying, been amazing this I'm year. I'm not arguing. It's, they're just statements. I'm not. I'm not part no, of the argument. Right. Um, okay, Martin Odegaard has had a better season than Kevin De Bruyne. Would say is having a better season. Yeah, I'd probably agree with that. I mean, he scored more goals than him this season. He's got more assists than him this season. You know, I'm not saying he's a better player. I'm saying this season he probably has had a better season than Kevin De Bruyne. I'm gonna have to disagree. He Why? is because he is Man City. He makes he's. I know Harlan scored all the goals, but he makes everything tick for Man City. Take him out of the team. They ain't half the team that they are. And they probably will win the league. Season, they probably will win the Champions League. They're going to win the FA Cup. They're going to do the treble. And it's all yeah. mainly, I know Haaland as well, but it's Haaland and De Bruyne, isn't it? Yeah. I think they do, when he plays, Haaland's better. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think when... It... I don't, I don't really understand why he has been on the bench so much. Unless he's got a few little injuries that we don't know about. I don't know why he has been on the bench as much as he had. But I think that weren't a statement. The statement was, is Odegaard having a better season than De Bruyne? And I, I think he is. Yeah, and I don't, I don't agree with that. Okay. Huh. I think De Bruyne is having the better season. I strongly disagree. We'll see who wins there. Strongly yeah, disagree. <laughs> probably none of them. Probably be somewhere else. I, I know who's going to win the player of the year. I can tell you this now. That's Harlan. Uh, Harlan, Harlan will win. Yeah, Harlan will win player of the year, and Saka will win young player of the year. I think that's already been done, isn't it? That's. I mean, there's no one else even in the running for it, is there? You wouldn't think so. Yeah. I mean, the bloke scored 49 goals in all competitions, and Saka's scored t- 10 Premier League goals and got 10 Premier League assists. Well, more than that now. 11 Premier League goals and 10 assists. Yeah. Well, let, let me just, cause he's, yeah, he did, yeah. So, I mean. Next on, next, next statement. Next statement. Rodri would start for Arsenal over Thomas Partey. Oh, I mean. All day, yeah. All day, I, I, all can't, day. I can't stand Rodri, but I mean, I, lo- I dug it wrong. I love Thomas Partey, but he's not Rodri standard. Do you think, though, that think Rodri, even though, even, though Rodri's a, even though Rodri's a better player, do you think that Rodri suits the system that Arsenal play? Yeah, it's exactly even what we better. Need. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly what we need. Parhe has cost you two games. Yeah, two big games. Okay. Right. This one's going to be slightly different because I didn't know how to word it in a way that you could either agree or disagree with. Erase one from history: Thierry Henry or Sergio Aguero. So all of their accomplishments, everything they've ever done, never happened. Very in mind Aguero's goal no, against no, QCR. I'm gonna... Oh my god. I'm going to Easy. go with Aguero, aren't I? I'm not going to raise Thierry Henry, am I? You have to. No, I don't. Aguero, Aguero will have a bigger, better. He's got a better Premier League legacy than Thierry Henry, one hundred percent. Well, he played in it a lot longer than him. Scored more so goals, probably... won more trophies. Yeah. Probably the biggest yeah, he moment. The, he played in the league for a long, long time. The greatest Premier League moment of all time probably is Sergio Aguero's goal against QPR. Matt, That's the pretty much what... memorable thing. I don't know what year it was, but there was a year where Thierry Henry scored, what was it? It was, I think it was 38 goals and got 21 assists and he didn't win the World Player of the Year, didn't win the Ballon d'Or that year. Biggest robbery. Pat, um, old Neved won it for Juventus. Biggest robbery in world football days. I would go, I'd have a Guerrero. Nah, well, I'd, I'd, 
I mean, I'm never going to raise him, am I? Raise him. Keep Aguero. So who do you actually think would, would, he's going to go down? As I think Thierry. His legacy. I think Thierry is probably the greatest player ever to play in the Premier League. Yeah, it's hard to argue with that. But like you want to you want to raise him. You're erasing his history. Quality, you know, so it's. Got, you're just to be clear, be clear, you're not raising like him as a, his characteristics. I mean, you're just erasing everything he's done. So without Henry's goals, Arsenal aren't aren't the invincibles. Without Aguero's goal, Man City didn't win that league. We didn't have that moment. It's moments and and things that you you're erasing. Yeah, well, I'm still not getting rid. I'm still not getting rid of Thierry. Well, um, I want to keep Aguero. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what TikTok thinks. Okay, and this is the last yeah. one. And yeah, you might agree on this one. I don't know. Vincent Company was the best defender to ever play for either club. No, uh, disagree. So there's think a lot is, of good defenders in there. Who do you think is the best defender then? Big Soul. Just... Soul Sol Campbell. Campbell, Tony Adams. I'm a massive Company fan. I think he's unbelievable. Colo Torre was was good in like in his prime. He's no. I wouldn't put Colo Torre up with. Oh, they played against each other, uh, next to each other. Yeah, I wouldn't put him up with him though. No, probably not. Sol Campbell, I I disagree that Company is the best defender out of them to like out of the two teams. Sol Campbell is definitely a better defender than Vincent Company. This is me. I'm so royal, and you all wanna be round. Yeah, you all wanna be round. Brown a champion, a champion. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Yeah. Famous, also famous, number one. 